Oh. Clearly he loves snakes or he wouldn't be doing that. <laughs> I wonder if the lady knows he has a snake hanging around her house. Oh well. Well I had it. Oh well. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> hey guys welcome back to glitz and glitter today i'm going to try something i saw daniel cooper do and um we'll see if it works what he did using actually let me show you this is the resin that he uses it was made specifically for what we're doing for the petri dish i think it's called so I did order the proper resin for that. So that's what I'm using. And he does use the Let's Resin Sinker White called Sea Deeper. And what he was doing was putting his alcohol inks and then dropping the white on. And then he did a tutorial. If I find it, I'll link it below so you can see it as well on mixing your own whites so you don't have to drop the alcohol ink in first and then the white on top. So what he did was took these little tiny bottles and I did buy little ball bearings to put inside to help stir up that bottom because that bottom does get thick pretty quickly. So I filled it about halfway full with a sea deeper white. And then I took the alcohol inks of my choice, nothing specific, all different kinds of brands, and I dripped it into the white until I got the color that I wanted. Now your colors will not be as vibrant because you're mixing it with white, so it's almost impossible to get the vibrant colors, but they seem to be coming out okay in here. So I've already poured 30 mLs into random ones in all of these uh, molds. So some are deeper, some are shallow, and some are kind of in between to see how it works in each one. So you do have to really, 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 really mix these. And I did a lot of colors. I did a couple blues. I did a green. There's a light blue. And you kind of have to mix them to see the color again. I have a gray, which I really wanted black, but you can't get black because you're mixing it with white. So it's now gray. I have a red. I have a yellow. I have a pink. And then I did a couple, I did a metallic gold, which I'm not sure that that one will work. You could barely see that it's gold. And then I also put some of my rainbow glitter alcohol in one of them. Uh, here's another blue. So I'm just going to kind of randomly drop these in and see if this works. So we're going to let it sit for an hour after we drop our colors in. And then we're going to come back. I've got my little needle stick here. We're going to come back in and swirl them. I only did a couple in each one. I didn't do these whole things. Then we're going to swirl them to see if we can get the feathering and if they dropped any. So I'm just going to put on a little music for you guys and drop some, some inks in these to see what we can get going. So be patient with me because I do have to shake them before I drop them.
Okay, they're all dropped. Now I'm just gonna wait an hour. I'm gonna come in and swirl them all. And I might back some of them with black alcohol ink just to let it colors pop if, if, if it works. Um, so be back in a second. It's been an hour. It's time to swirl up all these little things. So I'm going to zoom in for you this time and see if uh, you might be able to see a little bit better. We'll just start. We'll start up here. This is a shallow mold, so I don't know how this is going to be, but we're definitely going to try it. And just pull straight up so you don't get that little tail. And then wipe off your stick. Uh, these we'll do next. Now I'm not touching the bottom of the mold at all. I'm just kind of, these two are deeper than the rest of them, but regardless, don't touch the bottom of your mold because you can scratch it. It just looks like I am because this one is so deep. Now the heart one, well, let me do this little one here. Well, let me get this out of the way. I'll do this one while it's in the camera. Oh, it's nice and thick, so I'm hoping this actually works the first time. I'm going to move this one. I just want to move this one so I can not mess this one up. All right. Let's go to this little one. And I will turn it. We're going to get these. Just go slow, there's no rush. Just wanna flip these over so I'm doing it the right way. I did put a little bit of sparkle in a lot of these, but I honestly don't know if it's going to show or not. I don't even know if any of these dropped. We have to wait till tomorrow. Get that out of the way. I have three more. Do this one. And then in about another 30 minutes, I'm going to drop some black alcohol ink on the backs of some of these. I'm wondering if I could do it now. They're pretty thick. I don't know. I don't remember how long I'm supposed to wait. I'm hoping these turn out right so they could be a pair of earrings. Uh, I think I'm going to wait a little while. 
because I don't want the black to fall through, but I don't think that it will. I'm going to wait. I'll be right back. It's only been a couple more minutes. I didn't want to wait. I have other things I need to get to. So I'm just going to take some black alcohol ink and drop it on the backs of these. See, now it's not spreading so much. So that's telling me it shouldn't drop through. I'm hoping it doesn't drop through. Just kind of cover the whole back. I wonder if my other alcohol ink will spread a little bit better than this one. So I don't have to use up this whole bottle. Let me grab the other one. I don't know that it'll do anything different because it's so nice and thick. And that one spreads a little bit better. Um, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do them all. It usually always, always looks better with a black background. You don't have to do it this way. You can always use black resin. but I don't want to wait two days to unmold these. So I'm going to let these cure together. Now just FYI, it doesn't have to be black. I'm just choosing black. You can do any color you want. So just choose an alcohol ink that you want. Usually white or black is always the best, it seems. Okay, now I will see you tomorrow. All right, you guys ready to see how these turned out? We're gonna start with these. I don't know. Hmm. Well, I partially got that one. The center looks really good, but these edges, not so much. I do like the black background. You could see the swirl, but for some reason it dropped on the edge. If any of you know why, please let me know in the comments so I don't make that mistake again. Let's try these. Not too bad. Still came down on the edge. I wonder if it's I if I drop too much alcohol ink in there. I'm not sure, but you can see the little glitter in this one. I don't know if you can. I can a little bit. It's not too bad. Let's see the next one. Oh, that one. Ugh, oh, if it wasn't for the edge, it would be perfect. Kind of gives it a little different look, but I would prefer it without that dropping on there. Not bad for a first time, though. This one's mostly black. I think I think I dropped the black too soon. I should have let it dry a little bit longer. The black might have gotten up underneath the uh, the color. I'm not sure. What do you guys think? For a first time, 
Oh, man. That one would have been good if that orange color didn't fall all the way to the bottom. Look at that swirl in there. Darn. Oh, disappointing. One little thing. Oh, my goodness. Are they all going to be like this? That one dropped all the way to the bottom, too. I'm, I, these two, I did put in extra colors. I kept dropping colors in these, so I'm wondering if that's the problem with these circle ones. Let's see what this heart looks like. Ugh, I'm so close. So close. That one fell all the way to the bottom. I'm going to try this again, but I'm going to do it the original way with normal alcohol inks. Let's just do these both together since they were supposed to be a set. They're probably both ruined anyway. Oh. Those edges are getting me. These are very shallow too though. See how shallow they are? So I'm guessing it's not a good idea to do this technique in a shallow mold. All right, got three more. And these are shallow too, so I don't have high hopes. Mm -hmm. Not horrible, but I did get some drops here. Eh, it's not too bad. I would use that one, I think. Oh, we finally have a winner. That one is cool. So all that and I'm going to get one or two winners. That one is nice. I like that one. And one more. Now this one is bezeled and yeah, it went down the, uh, or beveled, I should have said, not bezeled. See those bevel marks? Okay, well... I got two good ones. I think these are the best two of the day. I'm going to try again with some uh, alcohol inks and then dropping the white over it and see if there's a difference. See which one I like now that I just mixed up all these colors. I just need more practice probably. I mean, really, it's my first time trying it. So nobody gets anything right the first time. I hope you guys enjoyed it and learned something along with me. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It does help me out greatly. Thank you to all who have subscribed. I do appreciate every one of you coming back to watch my videos. I hope you guys all have a blessed day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>